would be kind of interesting if we could grade. How about the rookie class? That would be kind of interesting. That's what we were going to – I guess that was one of the – so I guess just any rookie that's on the 49ers right now this year. Or right? just why overall. Why don't we go draft pick by draft pick? Okay. I'm going to pull it up. We'll go draft pick by draft pick. That would be fun. This, this feels like a setup. No. Oh, right. my. <laughs> Let's start with Kinlaw, who just had a terrific game against mm-hmm. the Saints. Best defender on the field, better than Fred Warner. Um, yeah, he looked great. Let's. Why don't we do that? Who wants yep. to go first? Um, I I'll go because I feel like I defend Ken Law a lot. Um, I think the Saints game was one of his best games. Um, a lot of the things he's like the defense, like the Niners were spoiled a little bit with the Forrest Buckner because he was really good at getting pressure. And I look at the defensive tackle position as one that doesn't collect stats as much unless you're one of the top tier guys Agreed. and a lot of what Kinlaw does are things that don't appear like one of his better plays was the one of him sticking his hand out interrupting the pass from breeze to Kamara yep but he doesn't get credit for a pass breakup because he didn't tip the ball in any way um so things like that so I'm maybe a little higher on a lot of uh, a, a lot more or a lot higher than a lot of people are on Kinlaw I'm going to go B plus just because I feel like a lot of the negativity towards him is saying well he's not DeForest Buckner, and that's really the biggest con 49er fans have against him. So I'll go B+. Plus. I'm going to go B. I'm going to go B, and I'm going to tell you why. And it's not even about the, you know, like, yes, obviously this was his best game, and, and nobody's happier than me to see it get the sack. But what I've been impressed with week to week, even though, you know, we haven't seen the numbers and you haven't seen the production, is, is that I see him learning how to not just bull rush, right? He's getting yeah. hands on people and he's moving. That's what I'm more impressed with. The progression yeah. with how you win is how you're going to be able to sustain it in this league. And he's showing that at least he's working on that. And those are the things that I'm looking at, right? The sacks and the pressures are going to come, right? He's the only person, the only rookie that has more pressures than him is Chase Young. That's it. You know, there's not really many uh, from the from the line, you know, that came out in this draft. Right. Like when we go through it. But that's still impressive nonetheless. Right. Because Chase Young is 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 all over the quarterback over there in Washington. So I, I give Ken Law a B. It's going to come. And when it does, it's going to be a flurry and it's going to be like the levy breaking because he he seems close. Like he seems like he's he's getting his instincts to where like even that play where he knocks that that Camara play. Right. It almost looked like he was getting pushed out of the play, but because he was aware of where he was, he was able to get a hand up and figure it out, right? Like there's other players on this team that would have been pushed in that position and just been like trying to fight their way through it. He actually knew where the ball was going because of just where he was at that point. So while that might not have been a good rep, it shows that the guy's mind is working and that his motor keeps going. So I'm impressed with that. Yeah, I agree with everything you guys have said, your evaluation of Kinlaw. I think he's been a pleasant surprise. He's improved. I think he's a B player right now, maybe B plus. But I'm going to say he's a C pick. That's a different issue. Okay. And the reason I'm going to say he's a C pick is I believe he was the 14th pick in the draft. He was. I don't believe he yeah. was. 14th. But yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think what you you build your offense, you build your team outside in, not inside out. Okay. You want edge rushers, cornerbacks, and the guys on the interior. Like if you can get a 6'5 dude who's 330 and runs a 4'7, yeah, then yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Get that guy. But right. from what I've seen for Javon Kinlaw, he's not – special enough okay. to be worth a 14th pick as a defensive tackle. Nothing against him. He's a good defensive tackle. Mm-hmm. I, if picking there, I'd rather get an offensive tackle, uh, a corner, something like that. So all I'm saying is positionally, I'm downgrading it because of that. But he's he's not a C player. He's, he could end up being an A player or an A-minus player. Right now, I think he's a B player, and I think it was a C pick. 